Hi guys, Ron here and welcome to another episode of our error testing series. You on my mind a lot, don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, need you every day. You like my oxygen, make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart no barge in them, from the bed to the flow to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up, but you ain't then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chat. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Today we are working with amateur triathlete Philip to improve uh, his CDA. He's uh, in kind of a beginner position right now with the CDA to match, so we're here to to fix that, obviously. So right now he has a road helmet on. We have our selection of Tantra helmets uh, to offer him for testing. Then we'll try some uh, aero pieces of clothing uh, for him and yeah, try to fix that head position a little bit and bring the head lower uh, for a more aggressive position to make him faster. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. He's on a triathlon specific Quintana Roo uh, aero bike with integrated storage, so that's rather nice. And he also has a quite broadly adjustable uh, vision bar on there so hopefully we can make a few good gains for him and bring that speed up by significant margin so let's see how it goes Okay guys, so we are wrapping up the test for today and we got some pretty good results. So we started with testing with the various helmets and um, perhaps not so much of a surprise, but the Cask Mistral came out fastest. Now it is important to note here that Philip is a beginner triathlete, so his position discipline and uh, position in general are still something to be worked on. We have also observed him on the drone footage, so he has quite a bit of uh, head movement and uh, shaking as or well, rocking on the saddle as well. So my first suggestion for him was to also check out his bike fit because this can be improved uh, quite a lot regarding his stability and then as a result his CDA will also be better. So uh, regardless, the cask was the best option, uh, mainly because I think it is the most uh, resistant to these position changes or the most universal uh, in that regard. doesn't require as much or strict head position to work well. So that was one of the observations. Then we have tested some of his equipment that he brought out and was curious about. So we had some uh, triathlon uh, leg covers which were slower than regular road air socks despite their uh, larger size so that was one change then we tried aero gloves aero sleeves the gloves were faster the sleeves were not faster compared to bare arms mainly i think because they you know no matter how you look at it they add frontal area because they're not completely skin tight like a skin suit would be so these were the equipment changes and then also we tried to tweak his position 
So I reduced his stack height by 20 millimeters uh, just to get his upper body more level to the ground. And this proved to be a bit faster. However, it also meant that his position was then less stable. So yeah, that's, that's the area to work on, as I mentioned. So overall, with all the changes, we went down from the initial CDA of 283 to the region of 245 to 250. So I'm quite happy with that. It's a big difference. Actually good for around 30 watts at 40 k per hour. So yeah, that's a, that's a good base to work on. And now he will need to work on his head position and, and bike fit to be more stable. And then I believe he can get down to the point 220s, 230s easily in the future, even the near future perhaps. So that was the summary of today's test. I hope you have found this informational or entertaining. If you want uh, to have your own setup dialed, then of course you can reach out to us through the website, the link below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.